All right, he's back three years ago, about this time of year. New York Times bestselling author Peter Schweitzer. He launched the book, number one New York Times bestseller, Clinton Cash. He's out with a new investigative book. It's entitled Secret Empires, How the American Political Class Hides Corruption, Enriches Family and Friends. Uh, all right, this, uh, let me just tell this audience, because I've read the book, and you saw I had it highlighted today, that... I, we're not going to get to the whole thing today. I want to give a broader overview, and we'll do what we did last time. We're going to break it down one by one. You were the first guy to break uranium one. You talk about profit through proxy. You talk about Biden. You talk about Kerry. You talk about Obama. You talk about Republicans, Mitch McConnell. Right. That's exactly right. This is the new corruption, Sean, and this is not the corruption of, you know, $90,000 in your freezer. This is major amounts of money. Billions. Yeah, billions of dollars in some cases, and it involves foreign governments who want to influence our leaders. And the way they get around disclosures, the way they get around the law is they don't give the money to the politician. They don't even give it to their spouse. They give it to their kids or they give it to a sibling. And that's a way that it avoids detection. And the amounts of money are massive. So, for example, there are three major deals uh, involving the Chinese government and family members, close aides of the Secretary of State, John Kerry, and the Vice President... His adopted Joe, son, a, Joe Biden's and, son. And Joe Biden's son. And basically what happens is in 2013, Joe Biden flies to China to talk to them about very sensitive issues, the South China Sea, uh, talking about trade issues, economic issues. Hunter Biden, his son, is with him on Air Force Two. Okay, that's fine. That's great. Here's the problem. Ten days after they come back, after Joe Biden takes a pretty soft position towards the Chinese, Hunter Biden inks a what becomes a $1.5 billion, with a B, dollar oh, deal. Ten, look, so he takes his son to China. Yeah. He was told at the time, if I remember, that he was being soft on China. Right, exactly. Ten days later? Yes. His son got a what? $1.5 billion private equity deal. That's the first of three $1.5 billion with a B. That's right. Billion with a B. <laughs> and that's the first of three deals, Sean. There's another deal. This is one that involves uh, Kerry's family. It involves one of Kerry's aides and Hunter Biden. It's Rosemont Seneca Technology Partners. It's an offshore fund. Chinese government puts $38 million into that. Third deal, Rosemont Realty. Again, involving these three same individuals. It's a Chinese government buys this real estate company, puts in three billion dollars. How many billions promise. between these these this, these three are we talking about? Uh, you're you're talking about if you accumulate all of them, you're talking about multiple billions of dollars, at least a couple of billion dollars. And here's the problem, Sean: none of this was disclosed. We have pictures of it, we have the documents, but it wasn't disclosed because federal law doesn't require. The vice president so of the United States. So it's a States. backdoor way. Like right. Obama made a big deal. Oh, five-year lobbying ban. <laughs> right. You know, right. my, you know what. That's yeah. a lie. Yeah. Because if Biden's son can go on Air Force Two and make a deal 10 That's days right. later for a billion and a half dollars, and this right. is the first of a number of deals, Yes. this is basically another way to to buy influence. That's exactly right. And that's why it's key. We've got to change the law. There's got to be disclosure. Right now, Joe Biden gets a $1,500 campaign contribution, Sean. He has to disclose it. His son gets a billion and a half dollar private equity deal from a foreign government. Yeah. No disclosure. All right. I, we're going to bring you back once a week and dig into each one of these scandals one by one. But th this is a big headline for our audience um, and includes Mitch McConnell. Right. Right. You've got Mitch McConnell, his wife, Elaine Chao, very closely tied commercially to the Chinese government. China State Shipbuilding Corporation, largest military contractor in China. You've got close commercial ties there. And McConnell, Senator McConnell and Elaine Chao got a gift from her father from between five and twenty five million dollars. Right. That is a result of that Chinese government. And money. we're also going to bring you back on Obama. His deals are a little different and a little shady, too. All right. So you have on the cover of the book, you have. You have a Kerry, you have Crazy Uncle Joe, um, you've got McConnell, Obama, and Jared Kushner. And right. I read the Jared Kushner part, and I'm thinking, oh, boy, he's in trouble. But it was a, a lot different. He, this isn't the same. Why did you put him on the cover if he's not guilty of these same well, issues? Well, Sean, we deep scrub everybody. Republicans, right. Democrats, we've always done well, that. McConnell and, should be nervous about this book. Yeah, I think he should be very nervous about this book. In the case of Jared Kushner, look, there's no deals that have been consummated. We didn't find any foreign deals. What we did find, though, is the Chinese government has said 
They don't like President Trump's policies on the military. They don't like his policies on trade. And they explicitly said the way we're going to try to soften his position is by going through the kids. So we really are. It's a, it's a warning saying, so don't take these, these others did corrupt deals. You're just saying in Jared's case. You better learn from these guys. Don't do That's it. That's right. Don't do it. It's going to be damaging to the family. It's going to be damaging to the country. All right. This book, um, Secret Empires, bestseller, Amazon.com, Hannity.com, bookstores everywhere. Peter, good to see you.